All right, so moving on to the next slide, um, we have return. And this is in uh, the final chapter, January Man 2.0, as I put it. Uh, and the use of atonement is a Jason talking to Miss Gretton and also Jason kind of talking with himself. Now, the reason for this is, as we know, during the chapter, Jason kind of goes around and on the way to um, the house, he he reminisces. He reminisces about them playing bulldogs. Um, he reminisces about uh, you dying. Uh he reminisces about his first kiss, all these things. So it's the good and the bad. And it's kind of kind of makes sense because, I mean, when you leave somewhere, you try to kind of think about all the good, the good and the bad. You just try to think about all the memories you've had. So he's talking, he talks to Miss Gretton and he tells Miss Gretton what happened with Wilcox's wallet and how he felt. And we could also see from the last one, Atonement, that he is still arguing with himself and has that angel devil complex that it was his fault or it wasn't his fault that Wilcox lost his leg and he's going back and forth. And he start he sees by the end of the conversation, well the one sided conversation, that he didn't stammer once. And he come in this quote, um, he comes to realize that it's not because of it's not because of him that he stammers, it's because of the people he's with. It says in the quote that he he can easily read aloud in an empty room by himself or to an animal or whatever. And it's because of the other person's expectations of him being able to speak properly. And that's what makes him screw up. Um, so that's the thing. Uh, there's also that it, he, he seems sad that he, that he's moving, but if you really think about it, it's better because not only does he learn the source of his stammering but he also learns this very valuable lesson that i put on here because i actually really agree with it and i'm going to read it out loud because i think it's unique either you suffer the consequences of noticing your fault forever or one day you notice it and you fix it and i really like that quote i'm going to be honest because it just shows that he's really matured from the beginning of the book to the end of the book and with that new knowledge he has and that maturity level that he's achieved throughout the book, he is better off starting a new life in a new place with a new school and all those things. And no matter the title he gets as, oh, being the new kid with the divorced parents and all that, that doesn't matter. It's still better off because he's matured and he's become, he's become respectable. He's become a good person. He's become mature. So... I think that that's the return. He learned, he learned all these things. He's learned that he learned the source of his stammer. He learned that this valuable lesson that you should, when you notice your fault, you should try your best to fix it. Not just, you know, suffer the consequences of you not fixing it and it just being there. And that's the end of that.